Master Dome Builders, Chuck. I uh, just want to ask him about an experience he had with a severe windstorm in, in Chugiak, Alaska. Tell us about that. Uh, during this storm, we had uh, winds up to 130 miles an hour. It was a long storm. It lasted uh, through the night. Um, I built a 25-foot dome kind of in a meadow with trees around it. We have uh, six to eight inch uh, poplar trees. And when we got up the next morning to check things out, the dome was perfect. Uh, no solar wrap blew off. But we lost five trees that had been cut off about halfway up the tree from the wind blowing it so hard. So it was pretty devastating. How about your neighbor's normal greenhouse? What happened to it? Well, the normal sidewall greenhouse kind of just blew away. It couldn't handle it, and uh, it kind of destroyed. So, would you say it's because of the shape of the structure that caused the, the damage? Uh, that is exactly why it caused the damage. Was because of the shape, the geodesic dome. The wind blows around it just like a golf ball or any kind of ball, and wind doesn't affect it one bit. That's wonderful. So what would you recommend if someone wanted to buy a greenhouse? I'd recommend buying a uh, geodesic dome kit with the solar wrap covering on it. The geodesic dome is the strongest man-made structure that we know of and the solar wrap has been proven to last through 130 mile per hour wind storms and it is just an amazing material.